Bloomfield, people from around the state will gather for a Juneteenth parade celebrating the holiday that commemorates the freedom of enslaved people. That's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland. He's live with the mobile newsroom right from the parade route. And Matt, you're there early. You got the best spot in town, right? Absolutely, Roger. You know, 11 o'clock, that's when the parade will start. Marchers making their way down Blue Hills Avenue behind me. And this year in Connecticut, the celebration taking on a little added significance. That's because here in our state, uh, the day was just recognized as a state holiday here. Governor Lamont signing Juneteenth into law last week. This comes after Juneteenth officially became the 12th federal holiday last year. Now, the day remembers June 19th, 1865, when Union soldiers informed enslaved people in Texas that they were free. Now, this was actually two years after President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. Now, today's parade steps off at 11 from the first cathedral parking lot on Blue Hills Ave. Marchers will start lining up at 10, and then they'll make their way towards the fire station. L.A. Twilley II, a local attorney whose family descends from enslaved people, recently spoke with Eyewitness News about recognizing the importance of the day and also what it means. It's really important to sort of understand where you're going and you need to understand where you've been. We can look back and say, oh, we should honor, you know, that portion of our history and recognize that, you know, this was wrong. And, um, but I don't know that that would be enough for somebody like Eli Twilley. Obviously, I never met a man or I don't know if that would be enough for slaves. Uh, in general, but I think that it's a great starting point. Now, while the parade is today, the celebration continues throughout the weekend. Tomorrow, the fire department, they're going to hold a cookout here at the fire station from 2 to 6, food trucks, live music, entertainment, and also activities for the kids as well. That's tomorrow from 2 to 6. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Bloomfield. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.